And now UEN proudly presents Cheese Cubed. Three tasty bits of cheese knowledge in one compact package. First, it's cheese by the numbers. Today's number is three. That's the dollar value in billions of U.S. cheese exports. Like milk through a strainer, these are the ways of our cheese. In this week's segment, cheese scientist Dr. Jeff Broadbent answers your question. Why do Swiss cheeses have holes? So the holes that we get in Swiss cheese are actually produced by a special type of bacterium that we add when we make this kind of cheese. There are two important groups of bacteria in a Swiss cheese. The first group are lactic acid bacteria that we use to make many different kinds of cheeses. They take the sugar that's in milk and they turn it into an acid called lactic acid. Well, in Swiss cheese, we have a, sep a second population of bacteria called uh, Propionibacterium freudenreichii, and those bacteria, after the lactic acid bacteria have finished doing their job, take the lactic acid and turn it into propionic acid and acetic acid and gas. And the gas that they produce forms bubbles, and those bubbles become eyes. I'm Jeff Broadbent, and I'm a cheese scientist. And now it's time for the queso quiz. Test your cheese knowledge. What is I? A, a cheese hole. B, a cheese testing device. C, a tool used to check cheese ripeness. The answer is A. I is a void or hole within cheese caused by the formation of trapped gas during fermentation. Cheese Cubed is a tasty bit of cheesy knowledge brought to you by Utah Education Network with support from Cache Valley Cheese, DSM Food Specialties, Schreiber Foods, Gosner Foods Incorporated, and the Western Dairy Center. Learn more at uen.org slash tv.